Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shotcaller and I'm sitting here with Lizzy Chachi from Schalke. Hey. So last time we spoke, you were still with the Unicorns of Love, of course. Uh, does it feel a bit weird to go up against your your former coach primarily, because you've been with Sheepy for so long, mm -hmm. but also XL and uh, Samox and now wearing a blue shirt rather than a pink one? Yeah, it was uh, definitely weird at first because uh, I've spent like one year with uh, Samux, a bit more with Exile and with Sheepy. We were together for like three or four years, so it was a bit weird. But uh, like in th in the end, they are just like another team that we have to overcome. So I tried to get into that mentality and uh, just uh, ignore the thoughts of like old teammates or anything like that during the game. Mm. And of course, afterwards, it was a bit of a different situation. Yeah, afterwards I like felt a bit sad for them, of course, because uh, they have a rough start right now. Mm -hmm. But like, I, I hope that they will just recover and do good later. That's that's very nice <laughs> to hear, of course. I mean, you had some 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 great successes with the uh, unicorns over the years. The I am when uh, the uh, winner of um, being MVP of the spring split, of course. Um, so you know, <laughs> it's it's a new chapter for you still. Uh, are you happy with the way that Chalk has performed so far? Uh, so far, I mean, our last week was like not as planned, so yeah. I, I would say I, I would rather have like the 3-0, but uh, of course it's like the early weeks and anything can happen, so I don't really mind like whatever result kind of, as long as we like make it to playoffs, because I think by the time we make it to playoffs, uh, we will be like uh, one of the strongest squads coming into it. So one thing that I noticed, right, right after the game, um, you uh, Nuke Dog seemed pretty happy, you seemed pretty happy, everyone was kind of in a good mood. And then you had a seemingly very long talk with uh, the coach and everyone in a circle, way longer than, you know, what you normally see from teams who just won and are very ecstatic. Uh, what was kind of being discussed there? Uh, well, we basically said that uh, we didn't play like perfectly, of course, and this is a game that we can take a lot away from. And uh, we tried to like cheer Elias up a bit, like upset, uh, who like still feels sick so he couldn't perform to his 100 percent in the game and it was his first lcs match so i think he really wanted to play it like perfectly or something and uh yeah that that was basically the talk okay fair enough of course uh best to elias hopefully he gets well soon and we'll see his full power his full yeah. potential full super saiyan <laughs> wait for him to be unleashed because he's actually like i think like the best AD carry in europe i can actually say that because uh, whenever I play with him, I'm really impressed. He always does the maximum damage output he can in fights, and uh, I think when we see his uh, full form, he will be like uh, one of the strongest carries on Schalke. That's that's very impressive, of course. I mean, hearing something from you, I mean, you must know it because you've been around for such a long time. Now, someone who's been insane this series, and who's also, I think, topped the damage charts was, of course, Nuke Duck. Uh, he's been, ever since he got to Schalke, you know, we've truly seen the actual Nuke Duck. You know, the, the potential was always within him at Vitality, but now we can see the unleashed Nuke Duck for 4 4 and someone's feel good as a teammate. Yeah, definitely. Like, Nuke Duck is someone I can just, or like we as a team, can just rely on because he's so consistently performing in mid lane and usually, like, uh, 9 out of 10 games he will win his lane. So. Basically, we can just play around him and uh, let him control the pace of the game. And uh, he also has a very wide uh, game knowledge and is quite eager to learn like on a daily basis as well. So like he's a very reliable teammate and whenever we are ahead, he, he, he can set up really good calls for us. Yeah, And, you know, with you two specifically, you have so much experience. Uh, Vanda, of course, as well. I think that's probably a good mix to have three veterans. And I mean, okay, Pride, it's a second split now. Mm -hmm. um, Upset, it's his very first one in LCS, at least. So um, I think this mix helps those younger players to, to get more into LCS, right? Yeah, definitely. Right now, during our replays, uh, after practice, we are usually uh, mainly focusing on like jungle buffing because it's probably like the most impactful to the game. And we are trying to help... Uh, Pride uh, get like the maximum out of it and uh, we are experimenting playing on different sides like top side bot side and uh, see what works out the best so it's still like an experimenting phase and uh, it's like a few other play styles that he wasn't used to in Rocket so we like I wasn't really used to this play style either in UL so it's something we all need to like learn into a bit but uh, I think like we are all really good players and quick to adjust and uh, I think it goes quite smooth so far. Now, 
it, it's fantastic to hear that you're very happy with Schalke and uh, very happy with your teammates, of course. Now, I must uh, ask you one more question about um, your time at Unicorn, specifically the last days. Now, we know that uh, Roma relatively earlier um, decided, you know, I, okay, I have this opt uh, offer from Optic, I'm going to leave the team. Uh, what was the situation like when you and Tilisang, and I don't know whether you together decided and had like a, a group chat with GP or like what was the situation like? Like how and when did you decide? Okay, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna join Schalke now. Uh, basically, I had a foot or two during the summer split already because we were quite underperforming. And uh, after we lost in playoffs, I was like really sad about the situation because we had a fantastic spring split. We came a second place, and I kind of expected us to like uh, keep working really hard and reach like a summer good playoffs position that get mm -hmm. us towards. But uh, since this didn't happen and we even dropped out in like the regional qualifiers against, uh, I think it was H2K. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. Regional, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was a bit disheartening for all of us. And I felt like I tried to get to words for three years in a row with Joel and it uh, didn't succeed. So I felt like I wanted to try it in a different environment this time. And uh, Schalke proved to be like a really good top team that... Uh, gave me an offer, so it was nice. Uh, for the others, I'm not sure how they decided, but everyone like individually decided this, and we knew quite soon that Roma has this offer as well, so yeah, everyone had uh, every information in their head and uh, decided for themselves. So what was it like when you, you went up to, to Shipi or Yos, I would assume, and decided, you know, hey, I know we've been working together for three, four years at this point, but it's it's time for new adventures for me. It's time for me to go. Yeah, well, basically, at first, I just wanted to look at my offers and uh, what interest I have in like the market because uh, for me as a player that uh, always signed with UL, I was uh, quite new to the market <laughs> and uh, I basically didn't know anything about it. Yeah. So I even like uh, went for an agency to help me out in this. And uh, when I learned that I have a lot of interest from like uh, other European top teams, uh, I, I decided that uh, it's time for to switch for me. Okay. Well, um, <laughs> is there anything you would like to say to uh, your personal fans or the Schalke fans? Uh, well, thank you very much for cheering for us and uh, we will try to deliver like uh, good results worthy of uh, Schalke and Ulfir. Okay, <laughs> that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys like the video, of course, make sure to follow Visit Chachi on Twitter. Uh, this was Darius from the Shot Call Ahead. Hope you had a good time. See you then. See you guys.